today on Repairs 101, we're going to take care of something that I've been putting off for a long time. You might remember from an earlier video of mine, this leaky elbow here. And we're going to change this leaking elbow here that I discovered way back in one of the very first videos I made. So I never seem to run out of things to fix around here. So I've already turned off the water and I've let the system drain by opening a faucet at the lowest point and letting all the water run out through that. And then to speed that up, of course, I went up to the highest point and opened a valve up there to let the air chase all the water out. So the challenge here, as I see it, is that this elbow is, of course, attached to this pipe that's going straight up and that is inaccessible. And this end of this pipe, coming this way, is tied into this T, which makes it also inaccessible. You'll see that when I unscrew this end of this pipe, this end of this pipe gets driven deeper into this valve. And therein lies your problem in reassembly. The real problem, of course, is figuring out exactly how to put this back together again. Taking it apart is easy. I'm just gonna cut it with my reciprocating saw right here. If I can, I'm gonna rebuild this, this valve right here. And if I can't, I have a replacement for it. I got some of these great shark bite quick connectors. I got something called shark bites. Definitely worth the price for the time you save in making connections. I got them at Home Depot and they're, they go together real quick so we're going to use those. Be sure to wear hearing protection and eye protection as I'm doing. Oh yeah, there it goes. Yeah, I used to have this foreman who would say, uh, it doesn't matter how strong you are, it's all in the funny noises you make. Still very hot. You can almost hear it sizzling. Well, I can hear it sizzling. I don't know if you can hear it sizzling. And there you go. Stem valve, just like the ones in my earlier video. And there you go. We'll just change the bushing on that real quick and I can put those back in service. Okay, here's what a really bad looking valve bushing looks like. It's completely dried out and it's going to take quite a bit of digging to remove it. Take it apart, clean it out, put in a new bushing, and reuse it. New valve like this is about uh, seven, eight dollars Canadian. One of these valve bushings is only a few cents. Just gonna drop that in there. I'm gonna spin the pipe out. Clean up the threads. Make sure you're wearing your eye protection when you do this kind of work. Now this is the point in the repair where a lot of guys will reach for their uh, Teflon tape or uh, silicone tape. I was trained not to use this stuff. As far as sealing pipes go, I use pipe sealant. Here's OD brand and that's what I use is pipe dope, pipe joint compound. Now the reason is because mechanics have to consider that in fuel systems, the Teflon tape breaks down and enters the fuel system and then it can get into things like the fuel injectors and plug them up and cause you it's going to slip in the shark bite now got the threads on that all doped up there we go Cut your pipes using a pipe cutter like this one. Don't kid yourself about uh, a hacksaw. You're not going to be able to cut them square using a hacksaw. This is the only tool for the job. There we go. After you've cut it, you want to ream the, the burrs out of the end. That's what that, that little triangle sticking out of your pipe cutters for. That's to ream the, the burrs out 
So you want to do that. Make sure it's nice and nice and smooth and clean. Okay, we'll just clean up the end with some sandpaper. Make sure it's nice. Nice and clean and ready to go into those shark bites. That one's good. This one, give it a ream. And we're nice and clean, ready to go in. So the last stage is make the connection between the two. Now you're going to make a one inch deep connection to these shark bites until you hear a click. And there it is right there. On this side, okay, bam, that was done too. And that's what it looks like. Pretty good, eh? Pretty quick, pretty easy, pretty good. No leaks, like that part. <laughs>